Okay, we're just going to look at seasonal indices and do a follow-up to the previous uh, video. Now, I've made a slight change to the data. And now that's cool. we've got actually some years for the year. Rather than 1, 2, 3, it's 1999, 2000, 2001. And what you need to understand is our data points basically go, this is our 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. And so that's what you can actually number them. You can say this is the first one, this is the second, this is the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth data point. And and you can see down the bottom here that instead of doing uh, the 1999, because the, the, these four values that's 1999 and these four values that's 2000 and these four values are 2001 we've actually used a time code so this is what we mean by a time code and that was just those numbers we had from before now you can actually also look and see that we've got this regular uh, trough here so the distance between these troughs, uh, that's a, a regular space, yes? So this is a, a, a regular, so seasonal data, this goes up and down, all right? But it is regular, and by regular, I mean there's a distance, there's a constant there. If I was to draw another graph on here, say I draw another graph and it, it sort of went up, but it went down on three, and then it came up, and it went down on six, and then it went and down for a bit of time, and then it went up on nine, and down on 11, and up on 12. That's a trough, that's our trough, that's our trough, and we can see that space, and that space, and then that space uh, irregular. So this is what we call cyclical. So it's still going up and down, right? But it is irregular. It is not regular. Okay, so that's that irregular uh, time period means cyclical. A regular time period means seasonal. And a time code means that instead of writing summer, autumn, spring, winter uh, repeatedly and putting the year, you just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, in the previous video, we actually worked out these uh, uh, seasonal indices. So this is this, this, the seasonal indices for uh, here. And so you have to take all these values and divide them through. So that column has to be divided by 1.03, and this column by 1.15, if I can write properly. Just get the eraser and make that neater. And uh, this one by 1.30, and this one by 0 0.52, 0 0.52, and 0 0.52. Now notice, um, remember I said spring was the, that's the trough, which means uh, it always kept going and down, right? It was always, this was the low point here, and that's why this is below one, whereas the peak, this is the peak here, and that's why it's it's the highest value. And if you do that, these are your new values. Um, and you can see like it, it does show much more of, of a progression. We're looking at the progression, remember, going from here uh, across and then here across and then here across because this is number one, this is number two, this is number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So just want to remind you, these are the actual values. And then uh, these values are the de-seasonalized. So that's uh, de-seasonalized uh, there. So as you can see, because the seasonal index here is 1.03, that's close to one. So these values haven't changed a lot, okay? Whereas if we look at uh, winter, winter, remember, was a, was a spike. So uh, these values are high, 
And because you've divided by, uh, by 1.3, these values have come down now. And then if you look at spring, spring, remember, was our trough. It was always our low. It's uh, divided by 0.52, which is basically doubling the numbers. So this number, 446, is almost doubled to, uh, to 0.858. And same here. You can see they're almost doubling. So the troughs have come up and the peaks have come down. And that's the whole point of a seasonal index. So if I graph these, and let me just uh, label these things. So this was our actual data. And this uh, line is uh, de-seasonalized. And you can see now what, what's happened, that the, the, the troughs have all gone up because they were all uh, divided by 0 0.52. And the uh, peaks have all come down because they were all divided by 1.30, a number bigger than one. And so that's that's what we've got. We've got a much uh, smoother line. This is much smoother. And so you can directly compare what's happening. We can see more that there there is a trend uh, upwards. And we can then definitely say that actually one of the best ones, uh, if we were thinking like, okay, we, 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 draw a, we draw a line here, you know, like this, we can definitely say that actually, although, although uh, this is higher than this, on the de-seasonalized data, this point is much better because it's well above that prediction line. So that was actually uh, value number nine on the time code which I believe would be the uh, summer in 2001, was actually uh, a very good season. Um, that was probably the best one because it's the most above that uh, uh, average line. So hopefully that's helped people out and they understand a bit more about time codes and how to graph these things and uh, look at the data and interpret the data.